It's 99 Jams, Miami's number one for hip hop and R&B. K Fox hanging out with you, and I love it when family comes to visit. <laughs> or your baby is in the hey, building. K Fox, boo, what's <laughs> up? 99 Jams. Yes, welcome back. <laughs> Last time, well, I saw you recently at the Glitz and Girl Power Awards. Absolutely, looking so beautiful. You were, honey. Thank you, and so are you. You <laughs> shut you. it down with Trina for the 50 Years of Hip Hop, and she uh, brought out a whole bunch of up and coming young yes. female and. MCs and you did your thing. Thank you. I loved it. I brought a little Latin flavor to, you know, the stage. So I loved it. Yes. Shouts out to Trina, the queen. <laughs> well, now that we're on it, you had a song with Trina called Ride the Stick. Absolutely. Talk to me about how that collaboration came about and what was it like working with the Diamond Princess? It was honestly the most amazing thing, like for me to be able to even say coming up out of Miami, like she's an icon you know so being able to work with her was so amazing she's so humble it came about because Flo actually surprised me we now actually we, now <laughs> let's rewind Flo I mean Flo Rider Flo the Rider a legend here in 305 <laughs> who you yes. signed to so. yes shout out to my mentor yeah. the best mentor ever him and Freezy um, strong arm IMG in the building you already know and they basically put it together for me. They surprised me. I showed up to Circle House and Flo's like, yo, you got to pull up. Um, you got to do another verse because I'm not really feeling how the record's going. So I'm like, oh, God. So okay. Trina wasn't originally on the record. She was not. Okay. No, it was just me. It was just me on the record um, with Tea Time doing his thing like as a sample. And Flo was like, man, this is so legendary. Like, we just got to, you know, without me knowing, boost this up some type of way and pay homage to Miami. So he put it together. I heard the verse in the in the studio and I was just like, what? I have to show you the video because I literally passed out. Like I was like, what? Trina? That's a nice surprise. <laughs> yes, it was epic. And it went up. It, it did its thing in the city. It did really, really well. Got over 100,000 streams. So I'm very grateful. So let's rewind for a second because you are signed with Flo now, but you originally started out as a dancer yes. for Flo. Talk to yes. me about that. So I've been dancing since I was younger as a little girl. My mom put me in classes, dancing in high school. So I've always been a dancer. And then I was a approached dancer. to be a dancer, yes. an artist. <laughs> yes, honey. And um, I got approached to be his backup dancer um, in 2016. Right after high school, basically. I graduated in 2014, did a few semesters in college, got the call, and it was a wrap ever was since. Like, I'm out. I'm out. Gotta I'm go. I'm live my life around <laughs> this the ain't world. For me. Yeah. Yes. And it's been up ever since. I was his backup dancer for like a decade. Okay. <laughs> and then the pandemic came, and we had some time off, and he was just, even before the pandemic, he was like, You gotta be an artist, man. Like, I've always loved music, have always shown my passion for music, rapping, just having fun, mimicking other people's records, like covering them. And and he was just always like, okay, we got to turn you into an artist. We got to do something. And then it happened. So what were you thinking when Flo was like, we got to turn you, did you, were you ready for that? Were you like, okay with being it's a dancer? It's like, you know, when you're a dancer, you just always see yourself um, like trying to project yourself in that, you know, in their position. Like, cause we're so used to being behind the scenes, yeah. behind them. So of course, as, as little girls, as dreamers, we're always like, damn, what would it be like to, so I've never thought it would be possible, but I've, of course, have always dreamt. Like, that's what made me want to be a dancer, watching videos of Selena, Celia Cruz, yeah. you know, all the girls. So, of course, of course. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Just sidebar. I took my mom to go see um, Sheila E. last night at the oh Fillmore. Oh, my God. And Famous drummer, yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and she has her first ever salsa album that's out I right now. Her. And they channeled Celia Cruz last night with Gloria Stefan. So we had a my girl, so, my but girls. you have Cuban roots, so absolutely, it's a natural progression for you. Natural, 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 and I'm super proud to be Cuban. Of course, I was born here in Miami, but my family migrated here in the '80s, um, and they've been here ever since in Kara City. I'm born and raised in Kara City, <laughs> so triple C's, triple C's, you know <laughs> the vibes, and yeah. But Cuban is heck. <laughs> so let's talk about this record that's going off right now. Because you had a few other records that was dope. But I think now that you tapped into your roots, that's the one that people are really gravitating yes. towards. Sugar Daddy. Yes, Sugar Daddy. Sugar Daddy is out now. Shouts out to Alex Sensation, um, Flo Rida, of course, the legend, El Alfa, which is huge, and DR. Shouts out to DR. It's a Dembo record, and shouts out to Joel and Randy, who are from PR and DR as well, and they're 
all iconic. Literally, every person I just named are just so iconic. They've been iconic for years, have a huge name in the industry. So I'm just like, wow. Sometimes I have no words that I'm even on the same record as them. Well, you are. <laughs> but Embrace listen, it. I'm embracing it. I'm so happy. I'm so grateful. The support has been amazing. Like, we're about to be at a million streams very soon on Spotify. And it's just going up, thank God. So yeah. I know that, I mean, you're like never in town. So I'm surprised that she was able to come through today. <laughs> thank I mean, you for talk to me, me about some of the dope places that you traveled and people are like receiving this record and, and, and the response that you're getting while you're just oh my God, yes. international so and national. It was my first time. Shout out to Flo, of course. We travel with Flo. Um, I've been traveling with Flo from the beginning, especially as a dancer, and then to now as an artist. He gives me my time to perform, gives me my own little set. So shouts out to him. I think that's so amazing and so humble of him um, for me to promo my stuff. And, you know, we just recently went to Australia in November, which I've never been to Australia. So, That's... first of all, how long was that flight? Okay, it's a whole day. Yeah. 24 hours, just prepare to travel 24 hours. Okay. It, it literally took 20-something hours wow. to get there. And I promise you, it was the most amazing experience because you would not think a lick of a person would think or speak Spanish in Australia. You know, but the way they received my record, he, of course, let me perform my record and things in Spanish, and they received it so well, so I was just so happy, and it was like a culture shock, but yeah. it was on my bucket list, so I crossed that off. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what did you do when you went when you Girl, Australia? we went to Sydney. I saw the koalas, which <laughs> I, let me tell you, I'm going to tell this to my kids one okay. day. Like, I saw a koala. Like, I don't think a lot of people can say that. <laughs> I, I can't say that. So I saw a koala. That's been on my bucket list since I can remember. That's like my biggest thing. A koala, a kangaroo. We went to the zoo. Like, we did everything. And then, of course, performing out there, which is the biggest thing. Like, who would have ever thought? I think it's so dope that you have somebody like Flo Rida uh, supporting you in this business as a female artist. But I think that it's not the easiest thing to be a female artist, especially conscious wise image wise you know being a dancer being a female hip hop artist latin artist mm -hmm. do you feel any pressure to all like to alter your body in any way because that's what a lot of female artists have been doing they feel like they need to get accepted so they got to get the boobs they got to get the ass done like what, how do you feel about that um i would say as for me, like the most important thing is to be very confident in yourself and self-love is the most important thing. I'm all for it. Like if you want to enhance anything or if you want to do anything, I'm all for it. Like as long as it makes you feel special and you feel good as your, like, as your own woman and you're not doing it to please anybody else because I don't really do anything to please anybody. Like I'm completely natural head to toe but at the end of the day I know that if one day I want to say hey I want to get my lips done hey I want to get my boobs done or breast done, whatever it is I know that I'm doing it for me yeah you know what I'm saying so shout out to the girls that got surgery and shout out to the girls that don't <laughs> all of it all of it but I'm be confident all for in who it. you are yeah be that's the most important thing be confident in who you are I'm very confident little booties matter over here okay Hello? so that's what it is <laughs> all right so the way these inflation prices are going the girls are looking for sugar daddy. Hello. Let's be clear. So this is what I want you to do. Give me three things that we need to do to lock down a credible sugar daddy. Okay. Hello, baby. <laughs> Number one, a sugar daddy loves confidence. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't come around being no beggar. Come around acting like you don't know the tea. You got to read the room, ladies. So be able to read the room. Be able to, you know what I'm saying? Be confident in who you are. That's another thing. Okay. Confidence is key. Mm -hmm. And don't come around thinking you're just going to be begging for stuff. Mm -hmm. Like it has to, you know what I'm saying? You got to do it right. I would say. <laughs> All right. What's the second thing? Um, The second thing, of course, looking good. Okay. Okay. You can't think you're going to get a sugar daddy looking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Nails done. Toes Nails done. done toes done. Everything done. And then, you know, we get a prospect. Mm -hmm. A prospect. Okay. What's, what's the one more thing? One more thing. Um, One more thing I would say. Hmm. I don't even know. To get a sugar daddy? To lock it down. Let me lock it down. I mean, be yourself. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, how do we spot a credible sugar daddy? Okay. You know, there's a lot me, of fugazis out here. It's so a lot like, of fugazis. Yeah. So for me, it's demeanor. I feel like I have a really good um, radar when it comes to demeanor. Like, it's just the way a man walks for mm. me. Like, you really could just tell. You know, mm, BDE, you really could, BDE. Yes, well, it's I mean, the not energy. Just that, but you it's know. not just that. It's just the energy, like confidence. You know, demeanor and confidence. Because you could have 
a great demeanor and have no confidence. Mm. And you could have, you know, and vice versa. Mm -hmm. So demeanor, confidence, and that wallet. Don't think you could be a sugar daddy and the wallet is empty. And don't be cheap. Like, hello, don't be cheap. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, if it, it ain't Such tricking if you got it. Yeah. It ain't tricking if you got it. Exactly. Okay? Exactly. It ain't tricking live by. if you got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Thank you so much for coming through. Sugar Daddy, congratulations on the million streams. Yes. We going up. It's soon. only up from here. What's next? What's next? Um, I would say more music, more content, more visuals, more Latin music, of course. I'm in my lane right now. I'm in my vibe. So definitely more features, more girl features, maybe more music with flow, hopefully. Um, shooting. But you got a uh, challenge that's going on, the Sugar Daddy Dance yes, Challenge. Yes, the Sugar Daddy Dance Challenge is going on. Shout out to Los That Way, which are a Cuban group all the way from Cuba, which is amazing because just to have their support from our own country is just like, wow, thank you. You, Jesus. So are you going to teach me? The... Yes, I'm going to teach you the steps. Okay. Shouts out to Los That Way. We're going to do the steps from Los That Way and from my music video. And we're going to, you know, Donde Tami Choca Daddy. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're we going to get into that and I'm going to post it on my IG so look out for it. Or your baby, how can people find you? You can find me on all social media platforms at O-Y-A-B-A-B-Y-Y. -Y. That's yeah. right. It's 99 Jazz. Miami's number one for hip hop and R&B was K-Fox. Let's go. Thanks, boo.